Hello everyone, it's Peter here and today I'm bringing to you a guide of how to use the Hellfire missile in the co-pilot seat of the Apache helicopter. Just a friendly reminder here, I made this series of tutorials in a progressive learning, meaning each new video will probably use concepts and controls shown in previous videos, so I suggest strongly that you watch the others too. And if you have any questions, you can ask down below in the comment section. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. Now, to celebrate the release of the Apache mod, we just came up with a new design. And the best of all is that you can have anything from our official store and pay later. Yes, you will pay later in four installments. And not only that, it's also interest-free the whole time. So, I don't know what you're waiting for because this is actually a great deal. And remember, Patreon members get permanent discount in our store. So, for more great benefits and designs, just check out our description below. With that said, let's jump into today's video. Alright, let's just go over the controls that we're going to use today. The first one is going to be the right hand grip menu tracker, which is going to move the tabs up and down, right and left. The second control we're going to use is still on the right hand grip, which is the trigger, first detent and the second detent. And I'm going to explain uh, the role of each one later throughout the video. The third control is already now on the left hand grip and it's going to be the second detent to shoot the Hellfire missile. We're also going to use on the left hand grip the weapons action switch or the WAS to activate and select the Hellfire missile. And the last control we're going to use is still on the left hand grip, which is to zoom in, zoom out, and have all different types of zoom, medium, narrow, wide, and zoom. Okay, let's change our seats and go to the front seat of that Apache. And let's bring up the AI menu. Now we're going to fly towards our waypoint, as, as you can see the distance to that waypoint is shown in our IHA DSS in kilometers. And just for your information, I set waypoint to be right on top of the targets. Why did I do that? Well, the Hellfire can only be used within the 8 kilometer range. So you have to fly and be in that range to use the Hellfire missile. Alright, we got to the Hellfire range and let's tell our pilot to slow down by pressing S. And also, remember that it would be better for you to do a progressive slowing down procedure, meaning from 7 knots to 40 knots and then to 0, otherwise this will happen to you. Now, let's increase the altitude by pressing a longer time the W button. Copy. Increasing altitude. Okay, now we're ready to operate the TADS and let's fire some Hellfires. First, let's enable the TADS on the right hand grip. You can assign this button if you want, it's up to your preferences of controls. So we press that. Now we have control and we can see by the left lower corner showing that. And also, now we can move around the tabs. Let's change our camera preferences. Since it's daytime and we have a better zoom, let's press the button on the left side and change it to TV mode. Great. Now let's arm the missiles and do our procedure to prepare the Hellfires. If you have any questions on that, I have a playlist of all the controls over the Hellfire and other weapons of the patch up here or in the links down below. Alright, now let's concentrate now on the Tads. Let's find our targets. And there they are. Let's zoom it and we can see the different types of vehicles but the view is a little blocked by the tree, so let's increase the altitude. Copy. Increasing altitude. 
and now we're set. Now let me explain some of the controls here. The first detent of the right grip is for shooting the laser on and off, just to have a read of the distance. The second detent of the right grip is to shoot the laser as long as you keep your finger pressed on the button. Now, on the left hand grip, all you need is the second detent trigger to press and hold until the Hellfire is released. So let's fire. All we need is to keep the second detent of the right grip pressed to keep the laser on and press the left hand grip second detent to shoot the Hellfire. Now we still keep pressing the second detent of the right grip to have the laser on until we hit the target. It's going to take a while since we are almost at the limit range. And there we go, our first kill. Now, for the next two targets, let's repeat the same process. Right grip second detent and left grip second detent to shoot. Now let's engage this tank over here. As also you can see, there is a read on the distance of the laser right down here on the left corner. I'm just not sure if that's in meters, kilometers or any other uh, unit. You guys let me know in the comments below. Okay, now for the third target we're gonna do exactly the same process. I'm just gonna speed up like I just did now so we can go to the last one because the last one we're gonna do on movement and we're gonna uh, use the AI, the George AI, to direct us while we fire the Hellfire. Alright, for the last one, as you can see, the view is blocked. So we're going to speed up first and then tell George to make a slight left turn to then come around and go straight towards the target. So here we go. Pressing W to increase the speed. I'm going to keep an eye on our target to know when we're good to go and turn back again. And to turn right or left, all you need to do is to hold longer the A or D button, exactly like how you do and I showed to you uh, for the altitude control. If you want to turn left, hold A for a longer time. And for right, hold D for a longer time until you see the crosshair is changing on the compass of the AI menu. And there we go. Let's turn right. And now I'm going to tell George to straighten up towards my target. All we need to do is to press A to cycle through the modes, and once in combat mode, press W to tell him to straighten up whatever you're looking with the pads at. Alright, now let's just engage the target. It's the same process we used before, second detent right grip, second detent left grip. And uh, you can see the countdown of the distance is decreasing because the laser is reading that we are approaching the target more and more. And it should take a few less seconds than the other ones since we're closer. And there you go. Target destroyed. We got all four destroyed and that's how you do it. And that's it guys. Let me just remember again that you can find the link of the new Apache shirt in the description below. And if you find this video helpful, please drop your like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, stay dangerous out there, and I'll see you next time.